Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to unlock Huawei 4G hotspot for free. The model that we are going to unlock is E5573CS609 from Airtel and IDEA. For this tutorial, you will need to download the tools for unlocking. I'll put the download link in the description below. First of all, take out the 6 screws using screwdriver from the hotspot. After downloading the file, which is a zip file, extract it. You will need an extracting software like WinRare or other software in Windows 7. If you're using Windows 10, then that's not a problem. After extracting, open the folder. These are the folders. Open step 1, which is installing drivers. Start from the first. Double click error code 10. Click on yes. Yes again. Click OK. Go back. Open the install true folder. Double click MMB service setup. Click yes. Wait a few moments and that's it. Go back again. Open install tree folder. Click on setup. Click on yes. Click OK. Click next. Agree. Next. And click on install. It will take some time for this. I'll fast forward it. Click finish. Now restart your computer. Wait for your computer to boot up. Now go to the main folder again and go to the step through folder which is using the Balong tool. Now right click on Balong and choose run as administrator. Click on yes. Now the Balong window appear. Before proceeding to the next step, insert your battery without a SIM card. And after taking out the cover, you will see a motherboard like this. Now we have to bootstrap the board which is just contacting two metal points together. You can use a divider or a wire or any other conducting materials to do this. I'll use a divider. Now if you look carefully, there are a lot of round dots in the board. The one we are looking for is this point. And you have to make a contact between this and this big metal plate. Now connect the smaller side of the cable to your hotspot, but don't plug in the other side yet. Also use good quality cables. Now, while making the contact between these two points, insert the other end of the USB to your computer. After that, you will hear device input sound. Now, click on the detect button and Balon will automatically recognize your device. If it's not there, then you can choose it from the drop down and if you didn't see it here, then there's something wrong with your boot sort process. It's likely that you didn't connect the two points together. If you didn't find it, you have to do it from the beginning. Now, click on this three dots button. A window will appear and open the bin file. And click on the load button. It will take some time for this. If the balong tool stop responding, it's fine. Just wait it. Now after some time, if you see your hotspot, the light will come up. And the light will start blinking. After the light start blinking, close the Balong tool and go back to the previous folder. Open Step 3 folder. Double click on Downgrade. Click on Yes. This window will appear. Click on Start. Wait till it finish the installation process. I'm going to fast forward it to save time. Click finish. Go back. Open step 4 folder. Double click on upgrade. Click on yes. Click start. I'm going to fast forward it to save time. After installing this, wait for some time, your hotspot will try to open the web UI through your browser. But you will get this kind of error because we didn't install any web UI yet, so that is a normal thing. So close it as for now and open step 5 folder, the final part. These are the web UIs. The web UI is just the user interface of the hotspot. There are three web UIs, Huawei, Airtel, and IDEA. Airtel and IDEA have advantages as they support USSD for SIM and manual network mode, which is very useful. I'll show you the three web UIs quickly. You can install any of the web UIs.
In this tutorial, I'm going to use Airtel Web UI. Click on the setup. Click on yes. Click on start. I'm going to fast forward it to save time. Click finish. Now after installing the web UI, wait a few minutes as your hotspot will try to open the web UI again. Now the web UI has appeared. If your hotspot didn't open the web UI automatically, then you have to type it manually. In your browser, type 192.168.8.1 in your address bar and hit enter. Now at this point, your access point, your hotspot password is unknown. So you cannot connect the device wirelessly. So you have to change it. And I get this notification because I didn't start a SIM card. Click go to home to go to the hotspot homepage. Now click on the settings tab, it will ask your username and password. So the username is admin and your password is also admin. Click on login, so this is your admin password notification, just leave that for now. Now on the settings menu, go to WLAN and choose WLAN basic settings. Now the SSID is your hotspot name, so this is your current hotspot name, you can change it if you want. Now the security mode is the security of your hotspot. If you don't want a password, just choose none. If you want to set a password, choose WPA slash WPA2 PSK as it is the strongest security. And WPA preset key will be the password of your hotspot. So this is the password that you will enter while connecting on a mobile device. If you want to see your enter password, click on show password and click on apply. If you search your Wi-Fi, you will get it. If you want, you can connect it. And you can connect with your new name or your new password. Also, the reset button on your hotspot will no longer work after completing all this process. That's it. You have successfully unlocked your device. But this process is not fully completed as your IMEI and serial number are erased. You have to restore your IMEI and serial number. Otherwise, your SIM card will not work or you will be blocked by your telecom operator. To restore your IMEI and serial number, Check out my video on how to restore IMEI and serial number on Huawei hotspot device. I'll put the video in the description below. I'll also put the product link below if you want to buy it. So that's it. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you found this video helpful.